Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, first things first, I probably should explain the voice. Um, yeah, I sound a little bit like a man at the moment. <clears throat> um, I'm not poorly. I really don't know where it's come from uh, to explain. Today is Saturday. I woke up last Sunday, had no voice at all. I um, think it was Wednesday I could start doing croaky noise, which is why my midweek for my midweek video had no um, audio because basically I had no voice. Um, this is the best I have sounded all week, and it hurts to speak. Um, and I look like I'm, I sound like a man, but I don't feel ill. Um, I've had a lot of people telling me I look a bit pale, but I haven't. You know, I haven't got a cold or a headache, or I feel fine. As long as I don't have to talk, if I talk, it kind of hurts. Um, but I couldn't really do another silent video, so I'm just going to kind of power through. And on to the actual topic of the video. Um, what many of you may know, um, and I imagine many of you are, I am addicted to Pinterest. Um, I love Pinterest. It's one of those things where you sit down for five minutes and you've lost an hour looking at beautiful hair or nails or clothes or cute dogs or tips on how to clean your oven and you know all of a sudden mentally or according to my Pinterest I have amazing clothes I'm a domestic goddess and um, I can do numerous things with you know quite some ease. <laughs> the frustrating thing about Pinterest is you'll see these amazing um, recipes or makeup or nails or hair um, or DIYs and it doesn't have any words, it doesn't give you any descriptions, there's like six, eight pictures, you know, step by step, um, showing you how to do it and you like look at the picture and I'm like, yeah, 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 that's obviously that's how you do that. Um, but I wonder how many times you can actually do that, following the steps that they show you. And basically that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how many videos this is going to kind of cover, but, you know, maybe a mini-series. Um, so what that has got to be at least four, I imagine, where I take one of the pins of uh, off my Pinterest and I uh, try and copy it. Um, today I'm going to do a updo um, that looks really simple on the picture. I will try and insert a picture here, but if I can't, I will um, link it below. As you can see, in the picture there is an updo and what they show you the, the lady using is um, hairspray, hairbrush, um, bobby pins and a couple of hair bands. So I'm going to try and give it a go. So first things first, I've got to take this out. She sprays hairspray on the back. I normally would section this, but this is what she does. And then she, again, she only shows you doing this once, but I imagine they'd have to do it twice. Also, I don't quite know why she's using a brush. You would use a back comb. I'm already getting a bad feeling about this. I'm just smoothing out the bits. They're a bit ugh. Okay, and then she kind of. She doesn't. Sh yeah, she kind of puffs it. Uh, 
and then you see her bobby pinning that and then she splits the bottom hair <laughs> Okay, and she's got her two plaits. She doesn't thicken them out or anything. She literally then just wraps them up. Then hides the And that's my finished look. I personally would uh, definitely call this a fail. Um, obviously, my hair type is a lot thinner than the lady in the picture. Um, and, you know, it's wearable, I imagine, like this. But because this has just not done anything for me at all, You'd have just split your hair braid and put it up rather than killing it with a bit of back comb. Um, so, definite fail. Okay, so it's time for a second attempt. And I am going to add one rat tail comb and an extra bobble and a couple of extra steps. <laughs> some hair from the back bubble and I'm tying it up but only loosely Home. And very gently just back combing the little ponytail and using that I'm just kind of going to do a little bun and tuck the end into the loose bobble that's holding the base of the ponytail. Or you could put a second bobble over this, I imagine. Get these bits out. Then from the hair on the top, take a section of that. And give that a gentle little back end. And then I'm just going to try, it's a little bit uneven, so I need a little bit more from that end. And then I'm going to pin it over the bun that you've made, or that I've made. So I've pinned it up, I've got my messy volume beehive, 
And now I'm going to split and braid the hair again. Okay, so plait's done for the second time. Now before <clears throat> before I pin it up, I would personally thicken them up just by working your way down and pulling them out a little bit. Just makes them look a bit thicker, healthier, and makes you look like you've got more hair or thicker hair. Obviously, if you've got lovely thick hair, like the girl in the actual picture does, then you don't need to do this step. But when you've got long, thin, nothing hair like me, you need this extra little step. And I'm going to pin them up exactly the same as before. And there's my second attempt, and I'm much happier. Now, the back combing is messy, but obviously I've done it quickly, you know, I've not used very much hairspray, um, but you could really, you know, using an extra bumper, even using your hair, or, you know, using a donut. So it looks much nicer if I go like that. <laughs> um, do you know what I mean? You can use much more hairspray, um, and then obviously smooth it out with your brush, but I think that's a lot better. I much prefer it the second time around with a little bump. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If nothing else, you've seen me uh, strop over back combing. Um, have a lovely weekend. Take care. Bye bye. Um, ugh. Oh, it's awful. How do you back comb with a brush? Uh, I try to. I miss missing you every day. Uh, oh, I can't even sing. Not that I could sing before.